Now, over the past years, Cameroon has gone through what I like to say, uh, called the transitional period, which means um, new players coming on the scene and trying to build the team to make them as strong as we know the Cameroon team um, used to be. Now, Ghana is going through the same transition period. As a coach who has experienced that, what would you say or what do you think Ghana needs to do that will help them to be back where we think or we all believe that they need to be? There was something in, um, in uh, Cameroon that I didn't understand in the beginning and that was they were not patient and um, I said several times you can't build a town on one day it's impossible it's so, in 30 years from so, Ghana yeah okay but, but um, you need time and, and uh, when you try to, to, uh, to build something uh, there are periods where it's not good and I felt also in, in Cameroon that when it's not good, for them it's finished. And that is not true. Because when it's not good, you're learning what has to be better. So in Africa, they, uh, they have the... Um, all, every time when, when it's not good, they fire the coach. Yeah. And then they start again. Yeah. So everything what was good before, they lose. So and that they have to, to learn and they have to be patient. And, and also in Cameroon, they are not patient. They want every game they want to win. And when you don't win, it's not good and they fire the coach. I have, you have to change that mentality because you can't, you can't build something when every time when it's not good, you put the, sh the chief out and take another chief and maybe he works on an, a different way. And then you have to gain to adapt and to adapt. And this is, I think, what they have to learn, patience. And were the players that you selected, or the players that were available to you, was it a thing where the players were just more hungrier to, to, to succeed? I think that um, there was something was very important. It motivated the players who were with us in Gabon. Because uh, those who were not there were very good players, were, play, were players with a name. And they were not there, so the players who were there, they said to themselves, no, we are going to prove what we can do. And it has been an extra motivation for us. Now, I'll ask you that question because a lot of Ghanaians are calling for the national team to involve in more local-based players. Yeah. That's why I ask you that question yeah. because it seems like the ones, the stars that are playing abroad, kind of like have a chip on their shoulder. Yeah, but you know, there was a moment, there was a discussion also in... Uh, in Cameroon eh, because there were not enough local players but what's the most important thing that you have the best players and if they are coming now from local competition or they are coming from Europe or from China or from whatever you have to select the, the best players so don't focus on local players but I agree I agree um, when I came in, in Cameroon there were no local players in the selection and that is not good either so you have to look and to search in the local competition so we find three or four players they were with us in Gabon and and the rest is not important you just have to select your best uh, your best team